now that I'm upset. And I wanted to give you guys an update on Madam Madweke. But I'm really upset. I think I'll wait till I become first lady. Don't beg me. I say don't beg me, eh? Okay, I'll tell you. Okay, so as you guys know, Madame was arrested in her house in UK was raided. Her house in Nigeria was also raided. They said they found 27,000 pounds cash in her home. Hey, whoa, that is about $41,000. No be so child, that is God. As ridiculous as that is though, my people, no offense, but I personally, I don't really trust UK authorities because you know, when they arrested Alamesia the other time in London, remember they said that the Metropolitan Police found one million pounds cash in his London home. Yes, but a later, later, when I spoke with somebody that was there, Koro Koro, this person told me that hmm, when Alamesia heard that they found one million pounds, he cried and he said that all his life he trusted UK authorities, but with this one, he found out that they were lying because apparently according to Alamisia he had much more than one million pounds but he can't come out and say that because he wasn't supposed to have the money in the first place and who do we ask how do we know so when I heard that they found 27,000 pounds at Madweke's house my first thought was how do we know it wasn't more than that Here you understand but uh, all I know is 27,000 pounds cash <laughs> As much as I appreciate these people though arresting our corrupt officials for us since we have refused to take care of our own business, no be so, as much as I appreciate them, I can't help but wonder why they also let them keep this laundered money in their countries for years before arresting them. Because I remember Oga Bwari at the UN addressing all these western countries and saying that if they really want to fight corruption, they should stop being a safe haven for our corrupt officials who steal money. If a politician from Nigeria comes to the US and deposits two million dollars in the bank, why can't the US just speak with the Nigerian government to make sure that he or she did not steal this money that they are trying to deposit in the US bank. And see, you understand, but uh, I appreciate them. Nigeria, wake up. You better wake up, Nigeria. Now they are taking care of our business for us. Anyway, that's beside the point. So they seized 27,000 pounds cash from Madame Hey, whoa. And then they said they found 5,000 pounds cash and another 2,000 dollars from her mother. Hey, I say it is like more than like daughter. Can you imagine? So many of these people that are stealing our money, see, they are family members. They know about it. And many of these family members, they don't discourage them because they benefit from it. How can you not talk to your daughter when you know that she's stealing money? Hey, whoa, I trust Mama Diola. Ah, she will say, Adiola Motibiono. Eh? In fact, I heard that when they were investigating her, they found out that so many of her properties that she has were bought in the names of relatives just to cover up her corruption practices. Can you imagine? So that they won't be able to trace her. So she bought houses in her mother's name and so on. So you understand. And the mother was also cooperating. Now they are arresting both of them. Speaking of properties, is it true that Madame was trying to buy a 13 billion pound house in Hyde Park, London when they caught her? 13 billion pounds? What? Make sense? No, that doesn't make sense because that's like three trillion naira. No, be so thirteen billion pounds on a house with whose money? I don't think that she was trying to buy a house with that money. From what I heard, it's true that she was trying to buy a house at Hyde Park. But the person that wrote this article was making fun of the missing twenty billion dollars. Remember the money that was missing at NNPC? Yes, if you convert the twenty billion dollars to pounds, it's thirteen billion pounds. So the writer of the article was saying that with the missing twenty billion dollars, instead of her trying to buy a house at Hyde Park, why doesn't she just buy the whole park with uh, twenty billion dollars? No wonder this picture has been circulating. Whenever they tell her that Dangote is the richest person in Africa, she just goes. Eh. What are Nigerians saying about this, my brother? With 13 billion pounds, we will have no IDPs in Nigeria. Oh, thank you, my brother. Literally, no, no, no. He's talking about the internally displaced people. With 13 billion pounds. For real, with 13 billion pounds, we shouldn't have internally displaced people in Nigeria. What a shame, eh? With 13 billion pounds, I will make whiskey my house boy and he must scream, yeah, 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 yeah to wake me every morning. This, 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 this is what you will do with your own 13 billion. My sister. Ah, there is God now. Did you? With 13 billion pounds, I will buy clothes for Kanye West so he can stop wearing rags. Ooh, snap, nah, that's so true, eh? How can you call yourself a millionaire and you're wearing this, eh? Fashion of nowadays, they have taken it to another level. Eh, but my dear, I need something that makes sense, eh? Can you give me, but eh, uh -huh, I think this, this, uh -huh, this will make sense. With 13 billion pounds, these kids will live a better life. They are the ones who need it. Thank you, Jerry, my brother. God bless you. These kids, they need, like seriously, even if it's 13 million pounds, million or billion, I don't care. These children, their life will not remain the same. With 13 billion pounds, every Nigerian state should have
have at least five of this kind of hospital. You're that one. Whoever wrote this, thank you very much. The sad thing is, with 13 billion pounds, it's not enough to buy brains for those brainless people that are defending their Zani. Thank you, my brother. You're that one. And have you guys seen those people that are protesting for Madweke? Yes, yeah, so can you imagine? Unfortunately, I don't think that they will get paid uh, good money if they cannot spell live. <laughs> Live, madam alone. Madam will be upset when she sees this. They are all birds of the same feather anyway. It's just like the Saraki people. Unfortunately, they also messed up their protest for Saraki. They messed it up immensely. Immensely. And you still have to pronounce it. So I don't think they will get paid well as well. Anyway, I thought that the best tweet of this week goes to Murchala, whoever you are, my brother. You got it right. You nailed it on the head. Eh? He said, madam, just go straight. Just go straight. You see prison yard. She was like, should I go this way? They said, no, madam, just go straight. <laughs> anyway, Nigerians, they joke about everything. Anyway, I've heard that she's not the only one that stole this money. Unfortunately, she's not the scapegoat at the moment. I also heard that billionaire Kola Aluko was implicated in the case. If you guys don't know him, he's a very, very rich Nigerian that lives in UK. He dated Naomi Campbell one time like this. Remember? Okay, so you probably know him now. He's so rich that he has a $50 million yacht that he rents out to celebrities like Jay-Z and Beyonce. The yacht costs about $900,000 per week so yes he's also implicated so we're waiting to see the outcome of this case meanwhile madame's international passport has been seized and once again my people in whatever capacity you've been given the opportunity to serve your country please please including those of you that have now been announced as ministers eh? it's good to be good do well that's what people will say when you leave and if you don't do well that's what people will remember you for you guys know i don't know much guess what i'm just keeping it real